New York responds to the Supreme Court decision that struck down their unconstitutional gun law. Let's go ahead and talk about it. Welcome back to the channel guys and I hope that you will have a happy 4th of July weekend. We need to keep in mind what it's all about and it's about independence from a tyrannical government. Sometimes I think we need to be reminded of that. There is only a couple days left to vote whether I go back to using the Wolverine stuff or not. So head over to my community tab and vote on that. If you don't know who I am, my name is John Crump. I'm an investigative journalist and I keep an eye on the 2A space. I really need your help and I'm pretty sure you're going to know what I'm going to say. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, and then head over to my Discord. The link is down below. I'm trying to grow my Discord, so go ahead and head over there. We have a lot of fun and we talk about a lot of good stuff. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into today's story, and it's about New York's response to the Bruin decision. If you don't know, the New York State Pistol Rifle Association sued New York City over their May issue concealed carry scheme. That was knocked upon the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court said that the individual has a right to carry a firearm outside the home for self-defense. Basically, killing may issue across the country. So basically, everyone is now shall issue. New York flipped out and called what they called an extraordinary session to go ahead and deal with this. And now we know what's in the bill. I'm not going to cover the red flag laws, the safe storage laws, and everything else that is in the bill because it is massive and it would take a long time. I'm just going to concentrate on the direct response to Bruin, which is their concealed carry license. I'm going to tell you what the changes are to the law. The concealed carry application changed a little bit. And let me tell you what you need to do now. You need to have four references be of good moral character, which means that you have not committed any crimes or anything else like that. You also have to turn over all social media to the state government. So you have to give them all your social media accounts so they can look through it to make sure that there's nothing on there that makes you scary. I'm not sure how constitutional that is, but I guess that will be challenged later. You also have to name every adult that lives in your home and all minors that live in your home, which I'm not really sure because I think that covers both. So why don't they just say everyone that lives in your home? But I'm not really sure. I think the minors is if they live part-time in your home, you still have to list them. And if there's an adult that lives part-time in your home, you don't. But I'm not exactly sure. They're going to look at the statements you have made in public and private to see if you made any disturbing statements like, I don't know, mass mandates or a former tyranny, maybe. I don't know. Who knows? You have to turn over all mental health records as well. That is a standard in a lot of different states. So I think it should be challenged, but will it? I don't know. Then they go ahead and define what a sensitive area is. According to the Supreme Court ruling, certain sensitive areas can be gun-free zones. But let's go ahead and talk about what New York thinks sensitive areas is. They list all federal, state, and local properties, mental health facilities, religious buildings like church and mosque and stuff like that, Libraries, parks, zoos, buildings for youth programs, daycares, preschool, and nursery schools. Anything funded by the people. Anything funded by the Office for People with Mental Disabilities. Rehab centers, shelters including abuse shelters and homeless shelters. Schools of all types, whether they are public or private. All public transportation and tr public transportation buildings, mm -hmm. places that serve beer, event centers, casinos, banquet halls, polling places, public sidewalks that are restricted for events such as fairs, 
if you've never lived in New York, they have a lot of street fairs and a lot of the sidewalks get closed off for those street fairs, which means you can still use them, but they're restricted for that event. Protest and Times Square. All right, that's all the different places that New York is considering sensitive, which is kind of crazy. I forgot to mention you also need training to get a concealed carry permit in New York. All right, guys, that is New York's response in their extraordinary session to deal with this. I like how they call it an extraordinary session instead of a special session, but that's just me. All right, you guys have a wonderful 4th of July Independence Day weekend. Remember, our forefathers fought for freedom. My great, 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 whatever grandfather was Israel Putman. You can look him up. Battle of Bunker Hill, a very, very close confidant to George Washington. I think he was either second or third in command of the Continental Army. Check him out. Um, pretty cool piece of history of my family. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I hope I don't have to make more videos. I will actually do me have to make a video. Damn it. But that won't drop until probably Monday. And that's very big news. Like very like massive, like mind blowing news. And it does deal with people in my community. So that's really cool. All right, guys. Stay ever vigilant, stay ever free, keep in the fight. I am out of here. Thanks to the people who are involved in that story. You know who you are. No, I'm not going to say it. All right. Bye.